Hi everyone, my name is Rafi Kertvi. I'll be talking about group interactions in online platforms. And I'll particularly focus on uh, quantifying this kind of interactions using the notion of uh, integrated information. I'll focus on uh, collaborative, collaborative editing as the interaction and the context of uh, Wikipedia article editing. So this is the summary of my talk. I'll start by giving the general overview of uh, group interactions. And then I'll uh, introduce the notion of integrated information and how it could be possibly used to uh, quantify um, interaction in groups. And then I will take the case of uh, collaborative editing, then how to identify the different interactions of, um, or hierarchies of interactions, then conclude. So uh, group interaction arises in, in many situations, uh, like uh, economic interactions in markets, uh, migration movements, social networks, collaborative learning uh, among students, and uh, there are different ways of studying these interactions or methodologies. So uh, collaborative editing is one example of uh, socio-technical uh, uh, like, uh, mechanisms uh, whereby uh, different uh, authors or uh, individuals interact on uh, prolongated periods of time in order to uh, edit a document or a uh, encyclopedia. There are uh, different uh, mathematical methods to study uh, interactions. Uh, some of them are statistical, uh, some of them try to look at the graph uh, or uh, graphical properties of um, these different groups. And the one we'll focus on now is um, something called integrated information. So it's, uh, it was initially introduced in the context of neuroscience, but then uh, Malone uh, provided a way of uh, using it in um, groups of people's working uh, together. So uh, integrated information, uh, like I said, was initially introduced uh, or developed by neuroscientists to capture causal uh, complexity in the brain. So it's the brain of uh, usually um, brains of uh, biological uh, animals, biological creatures. So um, in a nutshell, phi or integrated information is uh, a measure that quantifies how much information a system generates above and beyond uh, the parts of that system. So uh, the main uh, condition uh, for uh, the application of this uh, measure is um, the necessity for the system to have a temporal dynamic, uh, which means that it has to be describable using a uh, transition probability matrix. Um, so this could be applied for, like I said, biological brains, um, artificial neural networks, and uh, telecommunication networks, like it was shown by uh, Malone in his previous paper, um, by use, taking the case of peer-to-peer -peer networks. So we propose to uh, extend uh, his work by uh, not only measuring this uh, entity in uh, groups, but uh, trying to identify uh, the microscopic uh, level uh, interaction, uh, microscopic uh, and microscopic interactions, uh, and the overall hierarchy and how, of how these different uh, agents could interact in order to provide like a better quality uh, content. So uh, integrated information was initially introduced in the context of um, computational neuroscience and uh, it was a way of uh, basically quantify how uh, different uh, parts of the brain interact in order to explain uh, stimulus uh, coming from the external world and uh, how it could be interpreted uh, by the brain. Uh, so it was used to study consciousness. So um, given brain activity, then we collect different uh, signals from different parts of the brain, um, which gives a time series. And then that time series uh, will be uh, the input uh, to uh, this uh, measure. So um, the uh, ultimate result is a, uh, like a uh, quantifiable like, uh, entity that is described by this uh, equation. So, um, so the system here is S, so it's a graph, uh, basically, uh, split in two parts, uh, in the uh, dotted red uh, line. So um, this measure looks at um, the mutual information of the overall system between two time steps, minus the sum of all uh, the mutual information of the different subsystems. And if this uh, difference is maximized, then the overall integrated information of the system is maximized. Um, and this tells us how uh, the different components interact uh, in order to give uh, 
microscopic uh, properties of the system. So uh, if you try to uh, apply this measure to uh, different uh, examples of systems, uh, systems that uh, of course have to uh, obey a uh, special temporal uh, like uh, uh, constraints, uh, we will take examples of dialogues between people, written correspondence, social influence, etc. So the general formulation will look uh, like uh, something like this. So this is an example of uh, six individuals uh, in their interacting in any uh, kind of uh, interaction. Uh, like could be dialogue, could be um, editing, could be uh, 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 like emailing, etc. So um, you have an overall like global partition P and three possible partitions of these uh, individuals. So uh, if we try to quantify the uh, integration within all these different partitions, we can, for example, look at uh, phi of P1, uh, which is uh, non-null, uh, because basically we have interactions between the three individuals of this partition. The same goes with uh, partition two. Uh, but if we look at partition three, the two individuals of partition three are actually not interacting at all. That explains the uh, zero um, phi value. So this is how phi is applied to um, the, this type of uh, dynamical system. So uh, if we try to uh, look at um, uh, how phi is maximized based on the choice of partition, uh, we can get something like the uh, following uh, property. So uh, basically P1 and P2 altogether give the highest possible uh, integration. Because uh, in other words, it means that most of these individuals work together and uh, in order to achieve certain uh, goal. So um, if we also look at uh, P1 and P2, uh, separately, the interaction is uh, minimal. So um, that uh, explains the, um, the uh, bound. So P3 is uh, null. Um, there is no interaction. It's like two groups that uh, do not interact at all. So that gives you a uh, zero uh, phi. So if we take this example and try to generalize it and um, apply it to the case of uh, collaborative editing, we get something like um, the following example. So here we have two individuals interacting or collaborating to uh, edit uh, one article. So you can see the different parts of the text that we're editing at different time steps and each um, like uh, activity is a, uh, for example, to be interpreted as a spike and the time series related to that uh, node and the network. So here we have two, a system composed of two nodes with their different uh, activity. So trying to interpret this uh, or trying to use this um, in, uh, for, uh, to measure, uh, quantif to quantify interaction in uh, collaborative editing, we give an example like the following. So you have a system composed of three editors uh, working on one article. So here we have an example of two partitions. So partition one composed of uh, uh, six um, individuals and partition two composed of also six individuals, but just taking uh, group differently. So in partition P1, you have two basically clusters and partition P2, you have three clusters. So applying the same logic of uh, measuring phi, you can get something like the following. Uh, of course, uh, this is uh, computed based on um, how involved are the individuals and in, uh, their partitions. So P1, for instance, uh, could yield a higher uh, integrated information compared to P2. So uh, phi here is uh, the effective information and tau is the delay that, we, that is used when calculating uh, phi between the different uh, time steps of uh, the edits. So, uh, so the more you include individuals in a partition, the more the, um, the uh, integrated information will be. So this is the uh, second example of how to use phi in uh, collaborative editing. So uh, we applied this uh, method on uh, collaborative editing of a Wikipedia article. So uh, we took the example of uh, 20 editors uh, working over, over a period of 14 uh, years. So uh, the data was extracted using a Python uh, bot. Uh, and the data contains different revision information of uh, the article including the contributors, uh, the, uh, the timestamps, the size of the contribution, and many other uh, information. 
uh, items. So um, each editor represents a node in uh, the metric. So here we have a system of 20 time series that will be observed and sampled uh, at the same time. So uh, each node switches uh, between state zero and one whether they're active during a period or inactive. So activity um, like, uh, is interpreted as uh, uh, like changing something in the article. So uh, the goal here is to identify the different partitions of editors and try to map that to uh, the uh, integrated information that they uh, contribute. Uh, and uh, this is, uh, this is uh, the first step um, towards uh, the quantification of uh, quality of the articles, not as a function of the overall integrated information, but as a function of different clusters of uh, individuals. So uh, this example of 20 uh, editors, you get uh, the time series on the left side and the uh, hierarchy is on the right side. So uh, for instance, if you look at um, the uh, different uh, values of uh, here, for instance, uh, you have partition uh, Serenica and uh, Nandeska here, it will give you these two time series here. So uh, this cluster, for example, represents uh, editors that uh, worked actively during uh, the same period of time. And uh, you can see it here in the time series. Uh, it's like they're active during the same intervals. Uh, so the pair here corresponds to a uh, active uh, group. And uh, eventually uh, this is uh, translated to uh, maximized uh, phi value. Uh, so that will allow us to group them into a cluster in the uh, tree here. So if we take another example, um, the other example is uh, these uh, users here. So exercise phase and hey, uh, Jude. Uh, so these uh, users are actually uh, separated in the uh, hierarchy uh, of interactions. Uh, this corresponds to either being inactive or being completely dissociated from the other uh, editors, uh, not inv completely involved in the editing process. So these uh, individuals here are like uh, uh, outside of the main hierarchy here. So this also corresponds to a low uh, integrated information if we try to integrate them in the other groups. So I covered uh, one possible way of uh, quantifying interaction using integrated information. I took the case of Wikipedia article editing and uh, uh, how to uh, find these hierarchies of interaction. So for the moment, this is a preliminary work. So the next step is to actually look at how these uh, integrated values get, uh, let's say, correlated with actual quality, not of one article, but uh, of uh, the article on different time steps of its evolution. And if we try to co correlate the two uh, entities, then um, phi could actually become a measure, a predictive measure of quality of art articles, as opposed to, as opposed to uh, looking to uh, the actual uh, semantic or linguistic uh, features of the text. So if you have any question, uh, please feel free to ask me. Uh, and uh, more details are available on the paper and uh, thank you for your uh, attendance.